Hey, welcome back! Today we're finally finishing the game, but it seems someone's gone missing. Let's find out who. You useless brick! What do you mean you still can't find drag? What were you doing all this time? Looking for a good church to hold a wedding of me and your daughter. You idiot! If we don't find drag soon enough, Kayla will hold our funerals in that very same church. You can already start praying, boys. <laughs> Calm down, Mr. Morris. I told you already that I saw drag yesterday. He seemed fine. Well, physically at least. He just needs some space right now. Your actions will only adversely affect the situation. Oh, drag just joined the scene. Wait, isn't that dad? What's he doing out here? You don't know drag like I do. He's a selfish, self-absorbed, overconfident little brat. Oh, damn, that's harsh. Why that drunk asshole? I ought to... But beneath all that, he's just a scared little kid who is afraid to let people near his heart. Ah, that's actually sweet of him to say. Uh, and Drake is speechless. <sighs> I tried my best, you know. But it's hard to replace the person who gave birth to you. Oh, it's Drake. I really tried looking for his mother, but I failed, so I decided to raise the boy myself. Is that so? What was it like raising Drake? Horrible! I don't know how Kayla's mother used to do it, but it was definitely not my field of expertise. But gosh darn it, even after everything that brat put me through, I still... I still... You still what, Grim? Ah jeez. I'm not good at expressing feelings, kind of a birth defect for all males born in our bloodline, but I still love him. Don't tell him I said that though, I will have to hear him mock me for that my whole life. Don't worry Grim, nobody's gonna tell because he heard you say it. That's okay, even though you never said it, your actions spoke for themselves. <laughs> Miss Joanna? Does that mean you're willing to go on a date with me? Ah, uh, he had to ruin... He had to ruin the perfect moment. Uh, what? Did my story move you? I heard women dig men who are open about their emotions. Did you fall for me? And he just didn't ruin the moment, he just ruined everything he just said. Uh, I... Uh... You freaking asshole! <laughs> Push them into the water. Wait, can Grim swim? Ah! <laughs> Go drown yourself, serving douchebag! Ah, yes. This is what we call tough laugh in its natural habitat. <laughs> Hi, little brother in law. Looks like we found him. Mission accomplished. What the? My sister hasn't dumped you yet? Drag, even though your father messed up, I believe he didn't lie when he spoke of his love for you. I know. This is my way of showing my appreciation. Like he said, we're not good at displaying emotions. Oh, but you're plenty good enough at pushing your dad. First you pushed him up the stairs, now you push him in the water, what's next? Good. Feel free to talk to me more. I may not be a mother, but I- You know a thing or two about kids. I get it. Thanks. Uh, oh, I see. Also, I think you need to go back to the orphanage. Someone just might finally get adopted today. That was actually a good deed. Wait, what? Really? Oh my god, I must go then! And off she goes! I'm off too! Those churches won't choose themselves! Help! Are you still alive? Yeah, Drag is trying to kill his dad. <laughs> but shh, nobody should notice. <laughs> that was surprisingly refreshing. I usually take one bath per week, but taking one more once in a while is okay too. That explains the horrible smell that increases at the end of per week. I mean, sinks exist, you know? Oh wait, no, this is medieval ages. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, so, it seems you're fine. So I will forgive you for breaking my bottles. Yeah, there were some bumps along the way, but I'm fine in general. Want to talk about it? Not really, no. Good, because it would have been a waste of time for us both. I know, right? Okay, they're really, really bad at expressing any feelings. Well, I should be getting back to work. I'll see you at home. Yeah, and I should go to school, I guess. Not that I want to go, though. I'll be home by dinner time. Alright, good. I'll go now.
That was so awkward. Hey, Dad? Yeah? You should visit Kayla's mom sometimes. She doesn't give much advice, but she is a good listener. I mean, she is dead. Yep. That's why I married her. Okay. Okay, then. Ah. Yeah, Grim is still not healed. Perhaps that's why he's uh, being so socially awkward with other women. That was a surprisingly deep emotional moment between me and my dad. I feel like vomiting now. Well, that's what you get when two people who can't express feelings try to express some feelings. It has that bad aftertaste, you know? I said, tell me what happened. Why are the soldiers here? Sorry, kid. It's need to know only. But I'm the son of an officer. Why can't you tell me? Look, kid, sorry, but if you don't know why we are here, then you aren't involved in this. So leave it alone. Damn it! And here comes Drek. Wait, what? What's going on here? Why are there so many soldiers in this classroom and where are all the children and the teacher? Drek! Whatever it is that you're about to blame me for, I didn't do it. I don't remember doing anything to get the cops involved. For now. Yeah, but it's not the cops. It's the freaking army. I didn't call them. The school did. They also sent all the kids home for today. Really? Then what the hell am I still doing here? Wait, don't you want to know what's going on? Why all the secrecy? I'm pretty sure I don't care. In my opinion, this is your chance to use your evil methods for a good purpose. Your opinion is trash to me. But you did help me back there. So I'll do this as a favor to you. Huh? Don't you mean that they will make us equal? Why am I being in your favor? Because I'm already returning the favor by allowing you to be in the same room as me. Oh, I thought Drake was going to say, because I'm already returning the favor. That's already a favor on its own. <laughs> <sighs> you know what? Fine, I'll take it. Alright, long story short, the soldiers are hiding something, and I'm pretty sure it has to do with a ladder on the table. But you said that they're not letting anyone who doesn't know get involved, right? Right, that's why I need you to run a distraction scenario. And while you're getting pummeled by the guards... Hmm, that's never gonna happen, Polly. No one who is going to get pummeled is you. <laughs> yeah, let's call a plan B. I have another idea. Fake it till you make it. What's that? I'll pretend that I already know something while talking to them and learn what they know. Huh? Will that work? I did manage to pick up a couple of tricks about truth from a drowning man. I think it wouldn't hurt to try. Unlike plan B. Which will certainly inflict pain. Horrible pain. <laughs> Half of that sentence didn't make sense, but fine. Although, you have to do it alone, since they already know about me. No problem. Hey, you're talking to Drag right now. Drag can fix anything. So yeah, um, let's start counterclockwise with the first soldier on the top left. Hey there, fellow associate of this case. Uh, this is a sad, cheerful, angry, happy, moody, desperate. Seeing so many soldiers are here, the situation is pretty desperate, isn't it? What did you expect? We don't even have a suspect, so everyone's a suspect till then. And that takes a lot of manpower. This incident requires that there be a suspect. Well, that's quite obvious, isn't it? Hey there, fellow associate of this case. How are you? Much more. <laughs> what? How much more? Uh, did this happen? Is the victim, is the suspect, is it going? You know what? Let's be polite and just ask him how his day is and perhaps we'll get a reaction out of it as well. Ah, okay. How much more sounds weird, but it sounds weird in a way that it could be the option? Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know how much worse it can get, right? I know, right? This case already has enough victims as it is. Whatever happened here has more than one person involved. I should make a note of this. So it's about a suspect and there's multiple people involved. Hmm. Hey there, fellow associate of this case. Where did this happen? Is the victim? Is the suspect? Where did they go? Where were you when this happened? Where is my drink? We can be too direct. If you want to get more information out of this guy without being too direct, where were you when this happened? I was by the lake when it happened. What were you? What were you doing at the lake late at night? I was at home, sleeping. This incident happened last night, it seems. 
Okay, so at night, multiple people involved and a suspect. Hey there, fellow associate of this case. When did this happen? Will this be done? Is this happening? Did you join? Are we leaving? Do we eat? Um, are we leaving or did you join? I don't know. It's one of these two. Let's, let's pick the top one first. Say, when did you join? Same time as me? No kid. I've been on this team for the last two years. Maybe more. Although, there are people who have been here much longer. Whatever happened here goes way back. I need to remember this. Okay, so it's something that has been going on over a long period of time already. It's a suspect, multiple people involved. This is sounding like a serial killer. Hey there, fellow associate of this case. What is going on? What you doing? <laughs> Okay, that's a Phineas and Ferb one. Love that show. Is your opinion are you wearing is that letter is the matter with you? <laughs> yeah, sure. What is your opinion? What is your opinion of things that are happening regarding this case? Honestly, I'm a bit terrified. I mean, one day I'm going on doing my daily routine and then suddenly, wham! It seems whatever they're hiding is bad enough to put soldiers at unease. I should remember this. That didn't really give me much information, but okay. Hey there, fellow associate of this case. Why did this happen today? Are you here? Is this happening? Were we called? Are you so ugly? <laughs> oh, am I here? Um, why did this happen today? Why is this happening today of all days, right? Huh, I know, right? It just rained last night. My boots are all wet. But I guess it is to be expected when we finally have a lead on that case. Whatever happened here is related to an existing case? This is valuable information. I think I have all that I need to talk to the soldier guarding the letter here. But that's gonna be for right now, because I'm not gonna end this. I'm way into this episode and we're only 10 minutes in, so let's keep on going. Huh? You were involved in this case? The kid? Yes, sir. I'm aware that this incident has many suspects, clues, victims, soldiers, kids, politicians. Uh, suspects, yes. Oh, wait, what? Oh no, it was one suspect with many victims. <sighs> I know this incident has many victims. One of them is my relative. But still, to involve a kid? Oh, I don't know. I don't think you have a choice considering the desperate, favorable, cheery, happy mundane. Yeah, 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 well, yeah, desperate, desperate situation. Even a blind man can see that you're desperate considering the number of soldiers you have deployed. That obvious, huh? Besides, you're gonna need all the help you can get, considering you don't have any... Victims, clues, people, suspects, friends. Yeah, suspects. They don't have any idea. You don't have any suspect yet, even though this is an hard, easy, new, simple, old by the books case. Yeah, it was an old case. How long are we going to dial on this old case? Alright, alright. You made your point. Fine. I'll tell you about today's kidnapping. Oh, I was wrong. It, it's a kidnapping. It's not a serial killer. Dang. Kidnapping? One of the kids? Please continue. Nothing different than you already know. The victim was kidnapped and the curious ransom note was left behind. Curious how? May I see it? Go ahead. Maybe a fresh set of eyes is what this case need. Or a few extra brain cells. We have kidnapped your son. Bring one pound of gold to the lake near the crossroads if you want to see him alive. I don't get it. Isn't this how a ransom note usually is? What's so peculiar about this? Whoever the kidnapper is, is a bastard who never planned on releasing the victims. What a psycho. Oh, oh wait, am I correct? Is this an actual serial killer? Why would you say that? Oh, I didn't mean to discourage you, but it's pretty obvious, isn't it? I mean, all the victims' parents have been dead for a long time. So the culprit is targeting orphans? Huh, really? But there are no orphans in this school. Everyone here at least has one parent. Uh, it looks like this school is going to need uh, a new teacher. Oh, that dude is not in luck, is he? The divorce papers and all that shit. And now he's being kidnapped by a serial killer? Dang. What? What? Yeah, and apparently the kidnapper never shows up near the lake, even if other family members bring the gold. Whoa, hey, this is quite serious, isn't it? So why do you look so content? Because, dumbass, the victim gets released shortly after anyways. It's apparently a giant prank. Huh? Didn't it feel weird to you that only soldiers were present for a chain kidnapping case? Yes, it did. Are you saying that no higher officer is bothered with it anymore? But there are so many soldiers. 
Apparently, soldiers use this as a training exercise or a fun investigation. Sorry to burst your bubble. Oh wait, did we miss something? Because I didn't hear them say anything like this. I thought I had it, I was wrong, I was right again, but now I'm being proven wrong again. Huh. Well, I for one am. What was that noise? Did you hear something? How can I over your bitchy whining? Hey, I'm being serious here. So go check it out. What is it? A cat? No, it's a... it's a... kid? Ambush! The bushes are attacking us! Ha! <laughs> it's Tira. <laughs> Who the hell are you calling a kid? And the idiots keep multiplying. Am I cursed? I mean, if your curse is birth, then yeah, probably. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Are you a vertically challenged adult? Oh, that's actually way worse than saying they're short. Oh my fucking god. That's in JS. He's so fucking good at roasting people. My, my god. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, he kind of deserved that one. That's just fancy talk for calling a person short, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. And it's so much worse. <laughs> Who the hell are you anyway? The name's Tira, scrawny boy. And I arrest you and Drake for loitering. Huh? Loitering? Wait, Drake, she knows you? I'd rather not, but yes. Tira, why are you going around arresting people anyway? After seeing how those baddies took advantage of the law yesterday, I decided to become the greatest cop in the whole universe. Catching bad guys, bringing them to justice, saving the innocent. I'll become a guardian of the law! By catching people for loitering. Gotta start somewhere, right? So how about you go on your knees and beg for mercy, plebeians? She's barely a cop and she is already abusing her power. Drake, how about you're to blame for this mess? I won't speak further unless I have a lawyer present. Hey, hey! Is it true there's a kidnapping? If I catch a criminal, wouldn't I become a hero? Oh crap, she heard everything. We leak sensitive information to the public. That goes my police career down the drain. But I have a clue regarding the kidnapping. And how did she get a clue? Huh? What? Yep, the soldier didn't tell you everything. But they do love getting drunk and rambling around here. Well, what is it? Spit it out. Not unless you let me join your team. And make me your leader. That sounds more like a hostile takeover. Fine, I agree. Wait, what? Teacher Galford is one of the nicest teachers I met, and I know he has also been understanding of you. Well, that's true, Drake. I know, this may be nothing serious, but I still want to give it my all to find him. Don't you? <sighs> Fine. But only because if he's gone, someone worse may replace him. Great, Polly's Angels officially has a new member. Tira! Polly's Angels? Ah, oh, dude, no. You mean the leader of Tira's detective agency, right? Why not call this a Drex suicide squad? I mean, Jesus, at this point... Now hold it! Stop wasting time! Tira, what do you know? Right, the soldiers may not have a suspect, but they do have a description. What? Why didn't they release it then? Probably because the suspect may try to change his appearance. He's a male, in his 20s, has black hair and wears a bandana with a couple of flowers on it. Flowers? A bunch of people wear those lately. It is the latest fashion trend. And the description does not help either. There are literally thousands who match that description. Why don't we arrest all those people and beat them up till one of them confesses? Yeah, because that worked in the medieval ages so well, torturing people to let them confess. Yeah, that's how you get the real culprit. I'm really worried about the future of the Raichen cops right now. As much as I love beating people around, I have a better idea. Don't ask me how I know this, but the kidnapper probably was keeping an eye on the teacher to learn his patterns. We should ask around the neighborhood to see if anyone remembers seeing anyone suspicious. I really want to know how we know this, but wouldn't the soldiers have already done the same? I know, but that's the best lead we got. Wait, maybe it's not a bad idea. The teacher told me that he was living with his sister and her husband till he recovered from the divorce. Do the soldiers not know this? Since they're keeping it low-key, I doubt it. Only I knew about it. And then let's go, slaves! We have a poor man to rescue and criminals to bring to justice! We have been demoted to slaves, it seems. Nevertheless, let's go. I know where the sister's house is. <sighs> Fine.
You know, that's also weird to know where the sister of your teacher lives. And again, I'm sorry, but this kind of annoys me. This house looks like a mansion, but it doesn't have many windows. And the windows only are on the second floor. That's just my opinion, sorry. <laughs> but there's something wrong about these buildings, and it's the proportion. They're, they're, they're wrong. You sure this is the right house? You dare challenge my information? Of course this is the right house. Not to mention, fancy. No wonder the teacher dude was kidnapped. Oh my, is it Halloween? I forgot. I do have some candy for my diet cheat stash. Friday cheat day. No, we... Shut up, bird. Let the woman talk. Huh? But we... Trick or treat, man. By the way, my tricks are pretty good, so remember to give good treats. Come on, Polly. Take the hint. Oh my. I certainly wouldn't want that. Who is it, honey? Some random ass dude comes outside, starts throwing potatoes at them. <laughs> you damn kids, get off my lawn right now! <laughs> A bunch of kids? Look, honey, trick or treat us! Actually, we're students of your brother Niles, ma'am. Oh, come on, Polly, we just wanted some candy, and then we could have talked about it, but first the candy. Come on, he didn't take the hint. Oh, this is sudden. I didn't know his students cared so much about him. We are trying to find any clues regarding his disappearance. Would you happen to have seen a man in his 20s with black hair and the flower-filled bandana on his head? We think he might be a suspect. Oh, the police already asked his dad. But thanks to flowers blooming everywhere and the bandana flower trend being common, it was really not possible to detect someone like that. But the police said he should be back home soon. But we are still going to put the gold where they asked. I'd rather not take any risks. I mean, yeah, sure, you don't have much choice here, right? Unless it's that one uncle you really hate, then, then the choice is really clear, like, nope. Too bad he's going to die. Oh well, I'm going to keep my money now. Hmm. <laughs> I'm confused. Why would they kidnap him and not one of you? I guess he was an easy target. He was quite upset over his divorce and would hang out till late night at random places. We gave him a room to stay here too, but he barely used it. I hope I don't become an adult who needs to crash at his sister's place. That sounds depressing. Sounds just like you, Drag. <laughs> and just when he had finally gone on a date two days ago, with a nice lady. A dance teacher, I think. Evelyn. Teacher went on a date? Finally! He's on the road to recovery! How did it go? I don't know. He never told us that. I wanted to ask that woman, but I don't know where she lives. Don't worry, ma'am. The great detective here and her minions will find your brother. She certainly has a lot of confidence. <laughs> Thank you, child. Your energy gives me hope. We should go inside, honey. We still have to raise half a bag of gold. <sighs> I know. Thank you, kids. If we find him first, I'll let him know what great students he has. No problem, ma'am. Wait, the door is still open. Time to pull out the big old bug detector. <sighs> they look like nice people. And we still have no clues on how to move forward. Yes, we do. We have Evelyn. I used to say we round up all the guys with flowers and uh, beat them up. I was an idiot to ask for your opinion. What do you think, Drag? Drag? Oh, Drag has an idea. Where did I hear that name? Hear what? What are you talking about? That name. Evelyn. I remember hearing about it today. Oh, wait, what? I don't remember. The dance teacher? The person who went on a date with your teacher? No, wait. I read her name. In a... In a... In Dad's diary? Mm -mm. What? I am completely lost. My dad keeps a diary of all the women he dated. I remember seeing a dance teacher called Evelyn on it. Men are disgusting. As much as I agree, if that's true, then we may have another witness we can question. You know, if you want to find some information about a certain woman, just go and ask Grimm. He probably has a book with all the women of the whole country in there. Here it is. Evelyn. No last name. She's a dance instructor at the Righteous Community Center. In the heart of Righteous Capital, eh? Let's go! 
Tira forces, move out! But this is weird. That never actually went to date with this woman, apparently. I wonder why. Well, this doesn't sound like it could go wrong. Let's go over there. Ah, the core of the heart, Evelyn. And one, and two, and... She was really an interesting woman. However, I couldn't go on a date with her because I had an uninvited guest cry in my lab that day. Oh, wait, was it on the day that Drag got left on their doorstep? Feel the rhythm of the song. Let it inside your body. Okay, that woman is on drugs. Peace and love, everybody. Peace and love. Or like the hippies say, Sex, drugs, and rock and roll, baby! <laughs> For the song is life itself. It gives her fate meaning. Okay, what the fuck did she smoke? A bunch of mindless people. A monotone song and a lady possibly on drugs waving around. Yep, this is the dance school, alright. <laughs> I think Vazen J has a wrong impression of what a dance school is, but um, okay. <laughs> Looks like she's currently busy teaching the class. Stop pushing, idiot! I'm the boss! Pushing people is part of my job! <laughs> Tira, you're not the boss. Drag, tell this unwanted miracle to stop bossing me around! Wait, Polly? Was was that a compliment? Drag, how dare you walk in front of me! The boss always goes first! I mean, do you want to be the boss or the leader? There's a small nuance in there, you know? I would like to be a leader, not the boss. Because nobody likes the boss. <laughs> Shut up! I think this lady is the one we're looking for. Really? Citizens arrest! <laughs> hmm? Huh! I missed! Oh my! What a spirited child! Damn it, Tira! Stop jumping to conclusions and literally too! We don't even know if she's the one called Evelyn! Oh, I'm indeed Evelyn! Why are you looking to join my dance class? You heard that? She practically confessed! Let me at her! Drag, stop standing there and help me already! <sighs> Drag is already full of it. Sorry about that. My friends did not get enough intelligence at birth. Hey! Hey Drag! Tell her about her Tira's detective agency! I thought we agreed on Polly's angels! Wait, what? No, we're calling it Drag's suicide squad! Case in point! How fun! Reminds me of my childhood days. What can I do for you, junior policeman? We're looking for a missing person, or teacher, Mr. Niles Galford. Do you know him? Niles? Sure. He's one of the students in my class. We also went on a date recently. If it's not rude to ask, may I know how it went? Well... Not well would be the correct words, I guess. Since he talked about his ex-wife the entire date. Oh, that must be excruciating. The whole entire date. Oh boy, no no. Damn, I guess he still has a long way to go. Drag, I think we should keep watch at the crossroad of the lake to catch a criminal. Oh my, I doubt they'll let children in there. In where? Wait, what? What's wrong with kids going to the lake? Oh, sorry, I thought you were talking about the beer bar. Crossroad of the lake. Oh, that's why no one showed up. Oh, because they were at the wrong place. Huh? A place like that exists? Could it be? Everyone simply mixed up the two places? If that's true, then our kidnapper could be possibly there now waiting for his gold. Fantastic! We can set up a trap for him if we go right now. That's a good plan. Thank you so much, Madam Evelyn. You're welcome. Would you like to join my dance class? No thanks, I'm already doing ballet. No comment. That came out of nowhere? Is Drag actually doing ballet or is this a joke? I don't... I don't... I don't get it. Please explain this to me. Oh well, if you change your mind, you know where to find me. No need, but thanks for your valuable time. We'll leave you to teach the people present here. Quite a busy place this is. Stop hitting on the lady already. You're just like your dad. We need to go now. And off he goes. So it's not Evelyn? The hell is he talking about? I'm not hitting on her. Yeah, right. Quite a busy place, you said. So? So there's no one here besides the teacher and us. Oh, whoa, 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 no. They're all dead people? 
<gasps> oh no, this is gonna end badly. This is not going to go well. What other people are you talking about? No one. Absolutely no one. Just back away and get out of here while you still have the chance, Drake. Uh -huh. Now onward, minions, to victory! Don't leave Drake behind. Drag run. Run. There's no one here. I would love Drake to just move the fuck out of there now. Come on. Hmm? What's wrong? Aren't you going to follow your friends? I don't understand. Drag, just shut up and run. Why would they say something this strange unless... Unless... You're in a room filled with deaf people. <laughs> I loved you. Ah, my head. You said you keep me safe. Why? Just answer me. Why? Uh, stop talking. Then start running. If I heard some fucking ghost talk to me, I would run the fuck out of the house. We were total friends. We played in your secret basement every day. Uh, secret basement? You were supposed to be my queen. I was going to give up all my things for you. Uh, who are you people? Help me! I'm scared! I'm so scared! I fear to shame you, my love. I'm sorry. Who? Who are you apologizing to? Uh huh? You know what? At this point, Drake, uh, you might be a lost cause. Those were some interesting things you just said now. We, we, we said nothing? Why do you know all that? Drugs? I... I was just talking in my sleep. Funny. I never sleep talked. Since I can't remember the last time I slept. Uh, oh, you should see a doctor then. Or possibly my poverty teacher. He really knew how to make someone drowsy within seconds. Alas, my problem can't be solved that easily. Please don't close the door. Oh no. Oh, are you closing the door? I was just about to leave. Oh, Drag. I'm afraid you can't leave. At least for a while. Mm. But that's okay. We're going to have so much fun. I have so much I want to ask you. Uh, um, what are you going to do? It's okay, it's okay. I don't hurt kids. We're just going to talk forever and ever 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 oh boy she's losing her marbles help it's here where are you going drag we've got to begin our first lesson there's a wedge here. I can pull it up. Boom! Magic staircase! It's a passage! I can get out! Run, drag, run! She's trying to catch you! Incredible! How did he know that? He's so interesting! But I wonder how far you can go on those tiny legs. So run as long as you want, little one. I will find you. Oh, my name isn't Evelyn Hallowheart. Hallowheart? <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil anything, I've got the recording already. But Hallowheart is going to be something we'll see in Wolfsbane 2. So if you don't want to miss out, don't forget to hit that subscribe. And we'll see each other again in the next video, which will be Wolfsbane 2. Ciao!